Okay, so let's clean up and let's get on with our day. Transformation complete. So today in realtor fashions, we just have this little basic little sundress. It is 89 degrees outside and it's hot. It's hot. So I'm not trying to deal with over that. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me, Lord. I should have watered my flowers this morning. Those poor babies probably are suffering. Woo! It's hot to the mug. Let's go ahead and vent all of this. Jesus. Okay. Let's go. A little bit late leaving the house per usual. Woof. Okay, I think we can close these windows now. When I drive with my windows down, I feel like I'm getting dirty. Like, I feel like it's making me smell like outside. So I try not to deal with that. I'll do my sunroof because I like the sun on my skin. But other than that, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. It feels kind of gross. Did I ever tell y'all what we were officially doing today? I feel like I kind of just breezed past that and I didn't think about it. So I was like walking out the door and I was telling my man. So today we are doing a sewer scope and a full house inspection on a property that we just got under contract for a first time home buyer. So um, sewer scopes are optional. I mean, well, inspections, full house inspections are optional too. The sewer scope was really important for this particular property because there's a really big tree that's in the front yard and depending on where the sewer is, whether it runs out the back of the house or whether it runs out the front of the house, that big tree could be um, a potential issue. So um, we just want to do the sewer scope just to make sure that um, you know everything's okay down there because once you purchase a property, you're responsible for that sewer line from leaving from your house and connecting to the city main. So that length of pipe is your responsibility. And if it explodes, if it has cracks, if it does anything crazy, backs up, you have to pay for that. So we want to make sure that um, buyers, especially first time home buyers who don't have a lot of funds, are not biting off more than they can chew in terms of potential repairs. Okay, so let's go do that. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, so we're at the house. The inspector is in the basement. And, um, well, no, the, the sewer scope guy is in the basement, but my inspector, if you see this little, hold on, where is it? That little car right there, <laughs> that's my inspector. So he actually got here like an hour early. We were scheduled to have him at three, um, right when the sewer scope is finishing up. But I already talked with him, I already chatted with him, so he's finishing up a report for a, a one that he did before he got here. So, um, oh my God, I hate this so much. So when he's done, we'll come in, we'll talk to him, and then um, we should have all of it holistically ready, ready to go. Already? Nice. Oh, okay. This is going well. <laughs> well, so far. <laughs> So this is the machine that they use. They record what's happening. So when the water turns off, we'll be able to see what's going on in there into there. So it's back on the cast iron. Mm -hmm. So yeah, everything's uh, looking good in this. Nice. What a relief. We always like when good ones, when they go good. I have to stop and have a granola bar. Cause I remember, I haven't eaten since this morning. I gotta stop doing that. 
I gotta do better. Um, okay, guys, so this is Scott. Hey, everyone. This is one of, um, actually, he's my go-to. Like, literally, I will always call Scott for every single inspection that I have, and if he's not busy, I want him to make time for me. So. You got it. There's really no, there's really no way around it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so we're here. Um, the buyer is not here yet. Her mom is gonna come as well. Super, super exciting. But um, the basics of a inspection is pretty simple. Yes. Right? So we're gonna go through, we're gonna look at the windows. He looks at all the outlets, the little bit of the plumbing, you know, make sure faucets are running, all that good stuff. Um, the roof, the attic. Uh, what else do we check? Take a look at the age of the mechanicals, uh -huh. so we get a date on the furnace, the water heater, the air conditioner if there is one. Uh, we look at all the electrical inside the house to make sure everything is properly grounded. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if there are kitchen appliances, we test those as well. Boom, right? So it's, it's super simple. Usually you can be in and out pretty quickly, but Inspections are important because you want to make sure that the investment that you're making is a good investment. So if you bypass your inspection, you're basically agreeing that you're taking the house as is and whatever happens after is your responsibility. So I always strongly, strongly, strongly encourage my buyers to do a home inspection. I've never had one that has not done a home inspection because yeah, I don't, I don't play that. So yeah, let's get on <laughs> with our inspection and see see how this house shapes up. Okay guys, buyer is here. Hello. So this is a first time home buyer. I know you guys know that I work primarily with first time home buyers. Like I'll literally work with anybody, but first time home buyers have my heart. Okay. So. I was telling um, Scott earlier, and I didn't tell you this yet, but like, she is, I don't know what kind of blessed and highly favored type of stuff she has over her life, but like, this was the first house that she submitted an offer on, and she got it. And literally every, <laughs> like, <laughs> literally every other buyer I have, we were on their third, fourth, fifth house before we actually oh, really? won. Oh, yeah. So the fact that you, the first house, you were like, okay, I'm ready to put an offer. And like she won, A plus. come on, come on somebody, amen, amen. But um, yeah, so what's your, are you excited? What's your experience like so far? Ooh, um, very excited, um, nervous at the same time, cause this is a really big purchase. Um, probably the largest purchase I'll ever make in my life. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and Sounds about a, right. It's a big commitment, so I'm scared. But I think I'm ready. She's ready. She's I'm more ready. than ready. You've done the work. You've taken the home buyer class. Mm -hmm. She's gone through my buyer consultation, which is very in depth. Um, she's ready. She has the support of friends, family, loved ones. Like, yeah, you got it. And even if she didn't, even if you don't have the support of friends, family, loved ones, you can still do it too. You can. You can do it too. Okay. Commercial. Wait, what is that commercial? <laughs> what was if that? If I did it, you could do it too. Oh yeah. yeah Yep, period. The um, <laughs> wait, what is it? Everest? Everest or uh -huh. ITT track? You sitting at Which home one? on the couch. You uh, y'all know what to do. <laughs> sitting at home on the couch watching TV. Uh -huh. Get up. Uh -huh. I got up and did it. You mm -hmm. can do it too. Period. I'm gonna pull it up right, right now. <laughs> I'm gonna insert it in the video when I edit it, like a little clip of the. Of the <laughs> I'm gonna watch it right now. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, maybe next semester. No, do it right now. I am so hungry. I'm shaking. Um. So on the way home, I stopped at a place that has two of my favorites right on the corner, right? And look at this, y'all. We've got Starbucks and Five Guys as neighbors. Who's not happy, huh? It's not me, because I'm happy. So I'm about to go get my burger, I'm about to go get my drink, and we're gonna sit in the car and eat it because we still social distancing and I don't know what's going on with these people. Okay, so let's let's go get our food. Okay, <laughs> got it. Awesome. Thank you. Good. You too. Good.
This is ghetto. This is real ghetto. This is, let me show y'all what Starbucks did to me. So they said they were all out of Trenta lids. So they just separated my drink into two drinks. Like what? Where they do that at? I just, this is ghetto. But at least Five Guys got me together. Those bag fries at Five Guys they be doing, oh my God, that's what love is made of. Those, those extra little scoop they put in there, glory to God. All right. It's really popular over here, it's bumping. And don't none of these people got masks on. Huh? There's out here raw dog in the air. Not I at the cat. I still have more stuff to do, but we'll wrap it up here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every like, comment, subscribe. They help me get closer to my goal of helping just as many people as I possibly can. So the more that you guys like this video, the more that you comment, the more that you share it, it the, wakes up the algorithm, so to speak, and um, more people are able to discover it and enjoy it as much as you do. So please do your part in supporting me and I'll try to keep putting out quality content for all of you guys to consume and enjoy. So always remember that you, yes, you are pure gold and I will see you in the next one.